And hello out there, Atlanta. What's going on, baby? I'm so glad that you're joining us for another edition of Atlanta's Up and Rising. But we are scoping the land, honey, coming to you from the byways and the highways, honey. Bringing to you talent that is up and coming. And have I got a treat for you today. For those of you who don't know who I am, unfortunately, <laughs> I am Demetrius Big Meets Taylor, honey. You can find out more about me at www.dishandtea.com. But you know, this here ain't about me. This here's about my guest today, honey, and I am telling you, this young man, honey, came to me and entered my consciousness a few days ago, and I said, dang, I got to make this happen. I almost okay. said, I know. Ha! <laughs> um, but I have to make this happen. I got to let y'all hear what he's all about, and I want to make sure that what we give you today, honey, is going to be a wonderful, wonderful treat, and that we help him become a household name because he's already one in mind. So without any Further ado, I want you to welcome to Atlanta's Upper Rising. This is Mr. Dartez Martin. What's going on, player? What's up, Mick Meach? Hey, it's all great. You know, I am, and I am yeah. going to be. Yes, sir. Okay. Thanks for having me on. Well, it's my pleasure because, like I said, I want the folks to get to know who you are yes, so that we can get into what your sound is, what, what your message is, what is the message in the music, and can know how the music governs your life. So, what we're going to do is get started with the very, very basics, honey. Who is Dartez Martin? Dartez Martin is a great artist. Most of all, the best dad. Oh. You know, okay. who put okay. God first. Okay. You know, okay. that's basically it sums it up. I'm, a, I'm just a person that has went through life, mm -hmm. and God has given me the gift of song mm -hmm. to tell others or to actually tell my story. Mm -hmm. Through, you know, my life. Mm -hmm. So, basically, that that's who Dartez Martin is. Good wholesome young man. Now, uh, there's there's a there's a few important pieces in what you just did. Yes. So let's start with this piece, and that is, I am a good dad. What is that? Uh, being a good dad brings uh, that you bring to your music that culminates all of that Dante's, uh, Dante's experience. It, it, being a good dad bring in, in making music brings out the point that you can make good music mm -hmm. and make it for under 18. And you can actually ah, make damn. music that for every generation, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So you can be on a family album, you can be in the club joking, mm -hmm. and you know, you can still have good music that's from Dante's Martin. And my son, will always be able to listen to whatever lyrics that I say, mm -hmm. you know. That's a big important part of, you know, the Dartez movement, mm -hmm. the Dartez Martin experience. Wait, 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 let's pause. The Dartez Martin. <laughs> you knew where I was going. Yes, sir. He just worked me for that. Dartez he just went out and he's the, he's the whole movement tour. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I have to be. I have to be the one to bring the, I have to be the one to bring the real R&B back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, we don't have it anymore. Like, like when I was coming up, mm -hmm. Teddy Pendergrass, you know, mm -hmm. Gerald Levert, Luther Vandross mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. Al Green, you, you know, know about the Al Green. Come on, now. Man, don't, 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 don't make me start with that book, don't make me hit a little something. <laughs> no, but at the end of the day, what I came up on and was brought up on, mm -hmm. what my mom used to listen to, because I'm, I'm from, uh, a, a, being raised from a single mom, okay. and she had okay. six kids to raise. Interesting. So music was a good time for us to pass okay. the time and, and have a good time because not always we were able to watch a TV. Okay. You know. Yeah. So at that time, those influences on us grew up. It, it, we grew up on them, and I took that with myself mm -hmm. as a teenage boy. Mm -hmm. And when I really knew that my dream was to always be a recording artist, okay. to be someone who can actually give the gift of song, mm -hmm. you know? And, mm -hmm. and everybody has certain gifts, and I'm just blessed enough to be able to have mine, and luckily that I really want to be a singer, mm -hmm. and I'm blessed with the gift, so it just all came in too. Okay, yeah. now, here's something very interesting, okay. very, very, very interesting, yeah. because being, a, being a, someone who's coming from a spiritual background, yeah. do you see uh, your artistry as ministry, particularly with it being secular music, because all, mo most folks think that ministry is only gospel music if you sing it and this, that, and the other. How would you interpret your music? 
I feel like it is ministry because you know what? You can minister, you can spread the ministry and the word mm -hmm. through circular music because it doesn't have to always be about, you know, the Bible, mm -hmm. about the life lessons and, and the, what Jesus and, and, and the Lord has went through. Mm -hmm. You, I'm spreading the gift of love. Mm -hmm. What I went through, heartbreak, pain. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm testifying on my life. And when it comes down to it, it's no greater experience than my own experience. And I'm able enough to be blessed enough mm -hmm. to give that out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if people don't, if they listen and just want to hear it and joke, go ahead. Mm -hmm. But listen to the words and you'll learn some things as well. Because that's what I'm going to say. Oh, you know what? That's the way to bet it. That's it. That's what I'm going to now. That's he, that, did did, did y'all hear that tone just drop just a little bit? Yes, sir. Because he done got a little serious now. Yeah. Okay, then. I'm going to make my heart go pan up here just for a spell now. Because y'all know how I get you. And I kind of leave this man alone. Okay, then he just said he's a father. Carry on, I'm going to leave him alone. Yes, sir. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> let, okay, let, let's go back to when you were coming up. Give me other influences, because you mentioned Teddy Pendergrass, Joe the Bird, Luther Vandross. What was that, uh, the, the, what were some of the other influences on um, your music or in your sound? Because I'm going to tell you who I hear after you say it. Okay, I'm going to tell you who I hear, because, yeah, oh, I, I Well, actually, it. when it comes down to it, I come from a wide variety. Mm -hmm. You know, I come from even Mahalia Jackson, listening to Mahalia mm -hmm. Jackson, Dolly Parton. You know, I'm, yeah, no, no, yeah. Now, don't you Tim, Tim McGraw. I mean, <laughs> I, I, we we were to the point where music was music. Mm. It was mm. it wasn't what okay. genre it's from. Right, 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 you know, right. I even lifted, listened to Guns N' Roses, Def Leppard back in the day. Come on, I'm God. telling you, man. Toss and tweet. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm no. telling you. At the end of the day, music can be a different sound. Mm -hmm. But it's still going to make a great expression mm -hmm. from who's ever telling it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's just for you to listen to it. That's mm -hmm. all. Okay. Oh, what you say? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> My aunt didn't say that. Um, <laughs> this is what I am really, really digging about you. And I've told you this off camera. But what, what it is, see, in, in this business that we call show. Yes. Okay. Crazy. Everybody wants the screaming tenors. They want the tennis who can set up their thing alto. Right. They want they want the tennis who can actually falsetto or soprano. Right. Us baritone basses, second tenor children, we get no love. No, we don't. We don't get a lot of love, honey. We we really don't. And for those who have forced away, Teddy, uh, Teddy Pendergrass, Pendergrass, Barry White, Gerald the Bird, mm -hmm. uh, his daddy Eddie. Yes. You know. Great. Uh, Christopher Williams. And you know, now those are the top five who have really forged their way through as baritone basses and, and second tenors or whatever. They got a little range, you know, in their voices. And what I appreciate is the fact that you're not afraid to say, "Listen, this is what I am," you know. Right, right. And you know, I'm not trying to sit down here and and curl the cue and rappers right. and carry on because that's not me. Right. At the same time, you know, you you're true and authentic to your sound. So. Uh, tell us more about the whole Dartez experience. If I put on, um, uh, what, Secret Fantasy or uh, It's All Right or whatever, what am I going to go through uh, to experience? What is the Dartez experience? So the Dartez experience is basically the um, every song that you hear on the, on the album that's mm -hmm. going to be out, April 3rd, yeah. <laughs> and uh, th every song that's on the album, you can experience what I have went through, mm -hmm. and if you haven't went through it yet, you are going to go through it, because we all go through love, mm -hmm. we all go through heartbreak, mm -hmm. we all go through fantasizing about somebody that we're not supposed to be with, we, hey, uh, it is what it is, uh -huh. you know, we're all human, right, and we have to keep it 100 in this world nowadays. This is 2016. Mm -hmm. Nobody's perfect and nobody's trying to be. Mm -hmm. So I have to express everything that I've went through mm -hmm. through my music. And once you experience Dartez, you will be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, and you're going to have to really realize it's either coming to you mm -hmm. or you've already been there and you understand.
Oh, okay. And some of my music can help you prepare for what's going to come. All right. You know? All right. That's the all experience, right. baby. All it's right. a wild experience, all but it's an experience right. to be had. He said, wait a minute, honey. Some of my music can help prepare you yeah. for what's to come. <laughs> if that ain't ministry right there, baby, come on, Nacho. Right. Come on. Okay. So, now, let me go, and, and I want to hit this, because okay. I, I always ask this question of folks, because we always say... Um, this is the business of show. And what are some of the crucial lessons that you have learned and have to apply along this particular journey now that you're in this business? To always be well-rounded and to always put God first because it's going to be a lot of barriers. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a lot of people mm -hmm. and a lot of things mm -hmm. that may come in the way that will break you down. But when you put your faith first, mm -hmm. everything will fall into place because mm -hmm. your faith is going to keep you held in your heart and your mind and your soul together. Mm -hmm. And then everything else will fall into place because when the battle seems like it's almost won and you aren't the one winning, mm -hmm. you may want to give up. But if you're hanging at that little bit of notch, mm -hmm. you can go mm -hmm. a little bit more and then your doors will be open. Mm -hmm. I've lived it already. You know, and this is a dream of mine from a little, from a little youngster, mm -hmm. 10 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I still know the business now and I still want to do it because I love to, and I wanted to always do it and I love to do it. But everybody who does anything in the world, it's always a negative part to it. Mm -hmm. But you got to take the good with the bad and chew the bad up and spit it out and oh. keep going. Well, all right. All right. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I was going to say, but when you said take the good and the bad, and auto, auto, automatically, I thought of 227, which is you just the bad, you mix it together, roll it up, put it in the oven, and it all comes out cupcakes. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm being silly because, y'all, that doesn't hit me. But, <laughs> you crazy. I told you. I told you. Now, let's let's do this. Let's do right. this. Um... It's the show, okay? You are now, you're finna put on the concert of concerts, okay? okay? You're the headliner and you're bringing on special guests. Who is on that show with you, alive or dead, if you could just make that show happen? Of course, you know, I would always want to bring back Luther. Uh huh, you know. Patty, has to mama. Be okay. Yeah, okay, you gotta, yeah, you gotta, yeah. Call, call, call mom. Tell her that she okay. need to do so. You know, <laughs> tell okay. her, I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I'm telling her ready. Uh huh. And uh, Whitney, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, um, being so close to her family and not, you know, being able to have the chance to get in the studio with her mm -hmm. was really, really hard for me. Mm -hmm. But um, and of course, I would bring out a couple of unknowns. You know, because when you're blessed, you have to spread the blessing. Mm -hmm. And I'm ready to spread the blessing. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Now, as someone who is on this journey. Okay. And you want to spread the blessing. What would you tell someone who wants to start this journey? What What would be some of the lessons or some of the inspiration that you would give a newcomer? Kind of Put on your seatbelt and go hard as you can because you're going to hit a couple walls. Mm. But. You have to keep going, mm. you know, because you're going to have to hear a hundred no's before you hear that one yes, mm -hmm. you know, and don't give up. Don't give up because you'll, you'll, you'll fail. Mm -hmm. It's no way you can fail if you don't give up. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is bumper car action. Yes, honey. sir. Put your seatbelt on. Yeah. It's bumper car, yeah. honey. Yeah. Boom, boy. Yeah. <laughs> right, you got to prepare. <laughs> I live. I live. Yeah. Okay, now let me let me let me do this. Let me do this because oftentimes a male artist uh -huh. in this industry, um, and, you know, with it being a male dominated industry, the men, the male artists, uh, seem to come in this thing. And maybe not necessarily skate through it, but men are more so taken advantage of because of either not having their paperwork right or coming in, you know, just bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, and all they want to do is just sing. 
you know. Or they get enticed because they end up bringing the, the women in the extremities around to, right. to, to cloud their focus. How do you remain focused? I know you were saying earlier, I keep my faith intact. But we're not always in a spiritual place. So right. how right. do you stay focused to make sure the business is taken care of? Having a great team behind you. Mm -hmm. It's going to make sure as soon as you want to turn left, they keep you they keep you on track. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and that's the thing about having people that are with you that's been there before you became who you are. Mm -hmm. You know, who mm -hmm. know you from when you had nothing. Okay. The same people are the ones that's going to be there to keep you on track so you can gain and be as prosperous as you can. Mm -hmm. and that's what I have, and that's what I'm thankful for. Oh, all right, honey. That's the diehard children, honey. Yeah. You got the, the ones that, see, those are the ones that sit there and give you a spanking when you need one. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're not the yes men. No. They're the ones that sit down there and going to call you out on your on your mess. Yeah. Okay, I know like, you know you wrong, and I don't care what they say, you wrong, and, and yeah, we're going to talk about that. I ain't going to blast you upon your boat. <laughs> okay, but you know, you got to have a conversation. <laughs> yeah, I love all that. Exactly. Listen, before we let you uh, sit down here and do your thing, because we're going to be blessed, and he's going to give us two selections. Yes. Okay. <laughs> get ready. Okay, get ready. But give everybody all of your contact information, your social media, your Skype. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's his mark, baby. <laughs> Let everybody know how to get in contact with you, how to find your music, and all of that. Shoot it. Okay, it's uh, basically Dartez Martin, D A R T E Z Martin, uh, Facebook, Instagram, as well as Skype, and as well as SoundCloud. And make sure you go to iTunes. Two of my singles off the album will be on there, so you can go ahead and get them on April 3rd. 2016. Hope they get to see you get it. Well, what's the name of the album and all of this? What is this? Uh, give me this experience. Oh, the name of the album is It's All Right. Oh, the, the, the title track? The title track. That's the, I'm in the love title with the title track? track? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Make sure you check out It's All Right, too, on the Dartez Martin YouTube. Baby. And make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Okay. Well, you know what? Yeah. This has just been a joy. You're a cool cat. Thank you. I appreciate it. A real cool, mellow, laid back. See, see he proud liquor, y'all. This is brown liquor. Yeah. You know, sit down. You know, a good cognac. Yeah. Nice, warm cognac. So really sit down, you know, in a schnifter. So when you sit up there and sip, you can get the aroma. Yeah, I, I like that vibe right here. I'm Remy Martin, little brother, D'Artez Martin. <laughs> <laughs> What we gonna do? <laughs> what we are gonna do, honey? We gonna let him go ahead on and entertain you in the way that he can. So you know what? Without any further ado, I want you to experience the movement, honey. This is the one and only Mr. D'Artez Martin. Uh -huh. All right, ATL. Huh. Let's get it. Why you standing alone? Might as well come with me, girl. Show you the finer things in life. How a real man can do you right. Really couldn't dance without you, wouldn't stand a chance without you. All I need is your hand, I'm hoping I give you all of my attention. If you need a guy to listen, I fell in love with you from the dawn, babe. Don't 
Here at Atlanta's Up and Rising, we are making sure that the spotlight is on you. To focus you, to highlight you, to showcase you, to spotlight you, so that you can be on the up and rising, on the forefront to becoming the star that you already are. Right here, if you want to become a, a guest on the show, if you want to sit down here in the chair with me and be interviewed and then to showcase what it is that you're all about, hit us up at AtlantaUpAndRising at Live.com. Again, that's Atlanta Up and Rising, all spelled out, at Live.com. Or you can go to the Facebook page. Again, you can follow me. I'm Vic Meach over there at Facebook. Or you can find us right there at YouTube. Follow me at Vic Meach one on YouTube to find out more about Atlanta's Up and Rising. Here are some interesting and entertaining oddities about art. Leonardo da Vinci began painting the Mona Lisa in 1503 and finished it just before his death in 1516. When the painting was stolen from the Louvre Museum in Paris in 1912, six replicas were sold as the original, each at a huge price. It took three years to recover the original. In 1961, Henri Matisse's painting Le Bateau hung upside down at the Museum of Modern Art for 46 days before someone noticed the mistake. Roman statues were often made with detachable heads so that one head could be removed and replaced by another. Paul Gauguin, the French painter, also worked construction on the Panama Canal. About 25,000 workers died during the construction of the canal. Carbon paper, was patented on October 7, 1806 by Ralph Wedgwood of London, England. The large canvases Jackson Pollock used for his abstract expressionist action paintings were usually laid flat on the floor while he painted. Pollock was a chain smoker and would frequently paint with a cigarette hanging from his lips. This led to the incorporation of cigarette ashes into the surface of some of his works. It is said that Picasso could draw before he could walk and his first word was the Spanish word for pencil. When Auguste Rodin exhibited his first important bronze sculptures in 1878, it was so realistic that it said that some people thought he had sacrificed a live model inside the cast. The world-famous Louvre Museum and Art Gallery in Paris, France was built in 1190. It was initially used as a fortress. A left-handed painter, Michelangelo, painted his famous David and Goliath with David holding his sling in his left hand. Leonardo da Vinci wrote all of his personal notes from right to left, forcing those who read them to use a mirror. The first pencil was invented in England in 1565. Even though humans have been painting things for centuries, it wasn't until 1880 that you could purchase ready-mixed paints. Genghis Khan is credited with introducing the Chinese makers of porcelain to the color called cobalt blue. It's believed he brought it back from Persia. We hope you've enjoyed these interesting and entertaining oddities about art.